Logan has a long history of metals manufacturing, and it's really an unseen cornerstone of Oregon's economy. So anything we can do to help that industry grow and create new jobs is going to help Oregon's economy to grow with it. Hi, my name is Craig Campbell, and I'm the Executive Director of the Oregon Manufacturing Innovation Center for Research Development here in Scappoose, Oregon. I'm going to be showing you around the facility today, but I wanted to start by telling you a little bit about Omic R&D. Omic R&D is a collaboration between over 30 different industry members and three universities here in the state of Oregon and from around the world. Our industry members range from large OEMs to machine tool manufacturers, cutting tool manufacturers, lubricant companies, software companies, and others, all of whom are involved in doing metals manufacturing. Most companies can't focus on R&D exclusively. Their job is to produce things. So if they want to overcome a pain point, they need to come to some place where they can do that. We get economies of scale that other places just can't provide. This is the Akuma three-axis mill. It was provided to us through a generous grant from the state of Oregon. We use it to do an awful lot of edge wear analysis for different cutting tools in different types of metal. So we'll take a cutting tool and we'll drill a series of holes in metal. Then we'll do an analysis of what kind of wear occurred on that cutting tool so we can provide industry with certainty about how long a particular cutting tool is going to last within a type of metal. Most people think of research and development, they're thinking about making a huge change because of a research project. Most of the work we do is incremental changes that allow companies to be more productive, to make their product with a higher quality, or to make it faster. All of those little changes add up to being able to have a competitive advantage in the marketplace. This is the Doosan Puma SMX. It's a mill turn which means it combines the combination of both milling capabilities and lathe-like capabilities. It also has five axes. This is a closed door solution. You can program this particular machine to take a piece of metal, process it with its milling and its turning capabilities, and when the door opens, you should have a finished piece. That provides us with a lot of flexibility for both research and doing prototyping here at Omic R&D. Now the research that we do here at Omic R&D is all applied research. So we address problems that our industry members identify for us, and then we do the research that they can then apply directly into the manufacturing line. So whether that's making their products better, faster, less expensively, or greener, our job is to help industry find that solution and make sure that solution can immediately be put into the marketplace. For our carbide cutting tools, they all have to go into inserts to hold them into their machines. That means fixing them in place with heat, heat treatments, it means balancing them and centering them. Otherwise, if they're off center or they're off balance, they can actually cause damage to a machine or a part. So this suite allows us to make sure that our cutting tools are properly indexed so that they're ready to go on any of the machines that we put them on. we try to instill this inspiration of innovation, which means I as a machinist working on the floor, if I can see something that I can do better, then that means I own the opportunity to make the company better, more profitable, and give them an advantage. And we're trying to instill that kind of inspiration of innovation with everyone who comes through here so they can take it back to wherever they work and whatever they do in manufacturing. This is the Zoller Titan. It is the most advanced cutting tool inspection machine in the world. It allows us to do inspection both through laser and optical sensors that will create a 3D image of the cutting tool that we're inspecting. We'll start with a brand new tool that will have very nice sharp edges, and as we cut into metals, we'll bring it back over and over again to get a very clear idea of how it's wearing as it's cutting different types of metals. We act as a showcase. So we have machine tool manufacturers who bring in big machines, cutting tool manufacturers who want to show off what they have, and they can do it here. We have industry days where we bring in folks who are looking to see what's available. And because of the way we've set this place up, they can see the cutting tools, the techniques, uh, the machine tools in operation to help them make a decision about, is that the right thing for me? Is that something I should be investing in? 
This is the OMEP OMIC Factory of Tomorrow. It's a collaboration between OMEP, the Oregon Manufacturing Extension Partnership, and us at OMIC R&D. What we're trying to do here is use new technologies like AR, augmented reality, and VR, virtual reality, Industry 4.0, and other emerging technologies like robotics in order to show small and medium-sized companies how easy it would be to take this kind of technology and apply it in their space. It reduces both the fear factor and hopefully allows them to get the advice that they can implement this technology without breaking the bank. That's critical as part of our effort to give back to small and medium-sized manufacturers. So OMIC R&D has an opportunity to try and encourage young people to want to enter into careers in manufacturing. That's very critical because the skills gap is so large, anything that we can do to get young people interested in manufacturing is critical. So this summer, as an example, we have nine different high school students who are doing internships here, as well as four full-ride scholarship uh, winners at Oregon Tech and Engineering are on-site assisting with our research and development work. So that's a really critical part of what we do. We've been able to provide here in Scapoose, Oregon, under one roof, an opportunity for a wide range of industry members to come together, work on a variety of projects. They don't have to go to several places to get it done. They don't have to look to several universities to have that support. It's all here, and we can provide that because we created this consortium. A place like OMIC R&D brings all the knowledge and experience of our university partners and our manufacturing partners together to overcome problems that alone they could never do. One of the things we provide here at OMIC R&D is what we call OMIC Academy. Our offering of master classes in areas of advanced manufacturing techniques and lessons, mostly provided by subject matter experts either on site or from our industry members. We're providing those in both live stream and on site, although COVID has prevented us from doing the on site training. In the future, you'll be able to enjoy those master classes online as we offer them through our website. So COVID has had an impact obviously on a number of our members because manufacturing has had to at sometimes pause or reduce or they've had to lay off members or go on furloughs. We here at OMIC R&D have been constantly working even through the COVID epidemic. However, it's obviously required some adjustments in the way we do our business, including wearing face masks, keeping distance from one another, making sure that we're cleaning workspaces before and after we do work here. And of course, we've had a lot less people coming and taking tours, visiting, and all of our meetings have switched, like most of you, to Zoom type meetings. It hasn't prevented us with communicating with one another, but in a setting like this where you rely upon face-to-face -face collaboration, it has made that challenging. Thanks very much for joining us on this tour of OMIC R&D. We hope you've learned something about what we do out here. Of course, if you want to learn more, you can always go to our website, which is www.omic.us. We look forward to seeing you here at some point in the future.